Alrighty, here we go. I haven't found any words for the situation that's going on, but I do have one thing that I came up with. I came up with the knot. I was struggling on a name for it. Ended up settling on the Holyfield knot. Uh, given the current situation, figured that uh, attributing this to PG would be um, but the only thing I've got right now because, well, uh, I don't have any eloquent words or and the stories that I've got, I'm not going to tell. Um, so, those are for me. So, here we go. We've got your fat end over here. It's on the left side. Uh, skinny is on the right side. You've got your tie turned backwards. Seams on the outside. And you take it. It's basically two knots combined. Oh, hold on. Start the skinny end down here. It's uh, by my belly button, and then the tie is just hanging down. Depending on the length of your torso, you'll have to adjust it around some, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, just use the skinny end to gauge where it's going to go. You take it, take the big end behind the skinny end, then you wrap it around the front, then you come up and through the back. After you've done that, just take your finger, put that down through the loop that you created, and try not to do it like I do every time, and pull it tight because I'm so used to tying fat knots. And then you take it and you adjust it. You want to straighten your knot up as much as possible. There we go. And then cinch it up onto your collar because it's a combination of two knots. You really cannot adjust it very much after you start on this back knot. So get that how you want it. Then you take the skinny end over in its right hand, feed it up through the back side, turn it so that the seam is now facing down towards your chest, comes up and over, take it, feed it around the back, over here to the left, and then you go up and over here, and that creates, oh, that is sloppy. Creates that little bit there, and it also creates a loop back here on the back side. So you take your skinny end, and you feed it down through that loop, and start pulling it down tight, and then use your thumb to adjust your outer edges here and get them straightened up. This is one of the knots that I actually have to use a mirror for, so symmetry is not going to be how I'd normally get it, but then get it there and you can cinch it up just a little bit. Uh, you usually want to pull it up as tight as you can on your collar whenever before you start that back knot. And there you go. You're now rocking a custom knot. This is the one I call the holy filled knot. And as you can see you got your fat knot right here from the front and then you got your wings coming up and over it. They're a little fatter. The fatter necktie you use the better it turns out in my opinion. Uh, it also it works well with patterned ties and solid color ties. Solid color ties, especially light colors, as long as it's not white or bright colors is probably more accurate. Turn out very nicely with it. So there we go. That is the Holy Filled Knot. And uh hope you enjoy it and have a little fun with it and that's about all I got to say on that. Later. Doo -doo -doo. Mm-hmm.